Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. This is the uh, continuation of the uh, Poor Man's Spectrum Analyzer series where uh, we're trying to achieve uh, something that you would normally need a Spectrum Analyzer to do. But all that we have on hand is an RTL SDR uh, with a TCXO and a wideband noise source and an application called Spectrum. Uh, I have a video where I talk about installing Spectrum, and uh, I'll put a link to that down below. So, what I have connected right now is the uh, noise source is connected through all of the cabling, but without being connected through the uh, duplexer that we're going to be uh, trying to tune. So, the first thing that you'll do is uh, click relative mode once you're in this configuration and you'll need to let it run for several cycles. And then you'll click Set Relative. What that does is it kind of zeroes out um, the configuration uh, and puts you at uh, zero decibels. Uh, and that is zero decibels, not zero dBm. Uh, if you're uh, needing dBm, then uh, you'll need to do that conversion yourself. So, what I'm going to do is uh, break my connection here and connect through the duplexer that I want to uh, rough in for tuning. And as you can see, you can now see the dip for this notch duplexer, and there's a little bit of a rise here. So if you have an unknown duplexer and you want to tune it to another frequency, uh, you can use this setup to rough it in. You'll still want to take a uh, calibrated uh, and known um, spectrum analyzer with tracking generator or a service monitor that has that kind of function to uh, get everything fine-tuned but uh, this will get you in the area so now we can start turning the screws on this duplexer and in this particular case uh, this is a small uh, VHF low or VHF high band unit not really suitable for amateur service but uh, it could be used for um, like a commercial application uh, since they have wider splits or you could set it to be a filter uh, if you need to filter out a strong offending signal in this case I have a um, 500 uh, watt paging transmitter uh, that I can see the antenna from my backyard and so it tends to get into things uh, the nationwide paging frequency and the frequency that that transmitter operates on is uh, 152.480. So we're going to attempt to tune this duplexer down so that we can notch some of that uh, signal out. And as you can see, Spectrum gives us the ability to uh, see graphically how our duplexer tuning is working. And I'm going to say that we're pretty close here. Now, of course, there's not a whole lot of rejection in these cans. So, I'm not expecting a whole lot. But, even a little bit is uh, better than nothing. I think that puts the deepest part of our notch right about where we want to be. I'm going to go, click, go ahead and click Auto Scale here. Yes. So, as you can see, the deepest portion of our notch is in the area uh, where that paging transmitter operates. So now we should be able to uh, connect this in line. We'll, of course, we'll still have some insertion loss, but uh, it will be better than nothing. And this is just one side of the duplexer that I've tuned. Uh, you can connect to each can individually. You can tune half of the duplexer at a time. Uh, it just depends on how uh, you have your hardware configuration set up. So that's going to be it for uh, right now. I just wanted to uh, give a quick demo of this technology. Uh, the last episode we used it to uh, characterize the response of a, uh, an FM bandstop filter uh, in the sense of being an FM band bandstop filter uh, for the 88 to 108 megahertz uh, area of the band. So, uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And uh, I hope that you find this video informative, and I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.